good morning children today we need to discuss the chapter we read that day who did patrick's homework children before we start the discussion i want to give message to a few of students who fear understanding it in english i get some a few students request me to explain in hindi dear children it's english you need not fear about it and see it's a golden opportunity these days we are recording the lectures no so you are have the opportunity to read the lesson again listen to the video and listen to the audio the teachers explanation again and again while you read i am sure if you do so if you try to do again and again listen again and again and read it you will understand the chapter and also improve on your english just before we start with the discussion first just throw out the fear of not understanding in english okay listen to the voice again and again read again and again i am sure you will understand okay so believe me let's start with the discussion so we said this boy is patrick who did not do his homework he never did homework so here i want to show you the concept flow of the story okay if we just brief out what all i have just jot down write down jot down means write down few points that summarizes the story in a concept map see what happens in the story first we get to know that patrick hates doing homework then one day he happens to see an elf caught in his pet cat mouth pet cat mouth that means he finds the elf in the mouth of his pet cat okay then he saves that elf but he puts one condition what was that condition that elf will do his homework for 35 days then the story turns out to be now while completing he saved pat patrick saved elf's lives and he ha elf has to do patrick's homework when he starts doing patrick homework what he always used to ask for help always ask patrick to help him elf is always asking patrick to help him in doing homework he just pretended that he doesn't know anything so in that process of helping elf patrick actually did all his homework and finally he understands the importance of self help and develops a new attitude in the end so this is the whole summary of the story now let's discuss and look at the story once again para by para the explanation para by para i will try to put the question and answer it so that you understand what is explained by the writer do you remember who is the writer the writer was carol moore the writer was carol moore so she wrote it now let's look at the first paragraph ready so first paragraph tells us that patrick never did homework who never did homework the boy patrick why was he not doing homework because he find it boring too boring he said and what he liked to play he always liked to play hockey basketball and nintendo the instead means instead of doing homework he prefers he likes to do play hockey basketball and nintendo these are the games name name of games now his teachers were always concerned so what he, their teachers used to tell him they tell patrick do your homework or you won't learn a thing what does it mean you won't learn a thing the teachers used to tell if you will not do homework you will not learn anything to learn things you need to be regular in studies so this was the suggestion by the teachers and yes it's true sometimes he did feel like an ignoramus 
So Patrick used to feel that I don't know nothing. He himself feel ignoramus. Usko bhi aisa lagta tha that he is ignoramus. Ignoramus is a person who is not, who is a kind of a stupid. He who, who thinks himself to be a fool and ignorant about some studies, right? Ignorant means wo janta na ho, right? So but what he could do, he hated homework. But the only thing is, he hated homework, so he never took interest in doing it, right? He can't think of doing it because of lack of interest. Now look at the second paragraph. Let's explain, get the explanation of it. Then one day he found his cat playing with little doll. So what did he found? Who is he here? Patrick. So Patrick one day finds that the little doll the cat sorry his cat the pet cat was playing with little doll and he grabbed it grabbed it means caught hold of something suppose pencil is here suddenly i picked it up and grabbed it pakar lena right so he grabbed it away and what he finds to his surprise matlab actually he thought it would be doll but it was something else it was not a doll so what was it it was the man of the tiniest size. Tiniest means smallest. Very small in size. Okay. And the person who is very small in size is called elf. Right. Elf is also supposed to have some magical powers. Right. Now, what kind of appearance this elf had? He had a little wool shirt. What kind of shirt was he wearing? Wool shirt, little wool shirt. Old fashioned breeches. Breeches is, can you see the gallus over here? And the short trouser. The short trouser which is held by the gallus, these are called breeches. And high tall hat. Can you, just, can you see that pointed hat? It's like a witch. Jesse Jadu Garnia Pehenti, the witches, right? So he was having the appearance. What kind? Let's repeat the appearance. Wool shirt, old fashioned breeches, high tall hat that looked like a witch, right? Now he, this was here the description how the elf looked is told here by the writer. Okay. Now he yelled, "Save me!" Why did he yell, "Save me?" Obviously. The cat was behind this elf, trying to eat him, right? So he shouted, yelled means shouted. What he shouted? Save me, don't give me back to that cat. Because Patrick had grabbed him, now. So he said to Patrick, please don't give me back to this cat. He, I'll grant you a wish. Grant you a wish means I will promise that I will... Whatever you want, I give you, fulfill your wish. One wish. Now, let's come to third paragraph. The third paragraph, Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Why Patrick thinks himself to be lucky? Because it was answer to all of his problems. He thought if Elf will fulfill one wish, what do you think he is going to ask? Of course, he never liked doing homework. Na? So he thought that he will ask this elf to do his homework. And that was the wish he asked about. Let's see. So, usne kya kaha? so what he said? He said, only I will save you only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester. That is 35 days. So how long was one semester? The one semester was of 35 days. So, what did Patrick want? Patrick wanted that this elf should do his homework for 35 days. And why do you think he wants that elf should do? Because as everybody wants to get A grades, right? Patrick also dreamt of having. He thought that if elf would help me, he will get A grade. He never did his homework. He was not good at uh, do studies and have never received A grades. But when this elf told him that he will grant a wish, he thought he could even get A's. Right? Now come on to paragraph number four. 
The little man's face wrinkled like a dishcloth thrown in the hamper. He kicked his legs and doubled his fist and he grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips. Oh, I'm cursed, but I'll do it. Now, this whole paragraph is telling about the expression of little elf. That how little elf felt, felt on hearing the condition of Patrick. When Patrick asked him to do homework, the little man, the elf thought that he's been cursed. What, did, what is cursed here? That he felt that he's, it's, it's really disgusting. He got irritated. He got irritated. Why? Because he thought like as if some, just say, if you, a dishcloth here is the wipe you use to clean the slabs of the kitchen or something. You wash it, you wrinkle it, na? like nichorte hai. So the wrinkles, that cloth gets that curves and folds, right? He felt his face turned like that dish cloth, the full of wrinkles, right? The folds in the face, showing what the folds were showing, showing disgust, grimaced, cowled, pursing. This all are showing the disgust. Disgust means anger, disapproval. He didn't like this idea of doing homework. So, but as he has promised it, so he said, but I will do it because he has promised Patrick ki if you save me, I will grant you a wish. So though he did not like the idea of doing homework, the elf did not like it, but he said, I will do it. Now let's see what happens when elf helps Patrick to do his homework. Now para 5 tells us, and true to his word, true to his word is a phrase which says keeping his promise and true to his words who kept the promise elf kept the promise the little elf began to do patrick's homework except there was one glitch glitch the glitch means a problem a default a fault what was the fault elf didn't always know what to do elf ko malum hi nahi hota tha ki kya karna hai. he he never did any kind of homework right and what he needed he needed help every time every time to do a little thing he asked help me help me and patrick would have to help and who has to help this elf of course there was patrick only to help so patrick has to assist elf doing whatever elf you has to do right in in whatever possible way so what he says elf used to say i don't know this word squeaked while reading Patrick's homework. Kaam karte work, he used to squeak. Squeak is again shrill, long and cry. He used to cry in shrill voice, high pitched voice. That get me dictionary. No, what you could do is uh, just read it for me. Matlab, what while doing his work, while doing Patrick's homework, Elf used to give the instructions and directions to Patrick to do something like sometimes he asks for dictionary then he says okay don't show me dictionary you just find out the word from the dictionary and then letter by letter you need to sound it Padke batao mujko. so and when it comes to math the same happened Patrick was again out of luck right again the elf shrieked shrieked is again squeaked similar meaning shouted in a high-pitched high tone and he says, we elves never need that. Like, Patrick was not good at maths, but elf said you have to, like addition, subtraction, division and fractions. What, who has to all uh, do this? Because Patrick only, because this elf made him sit down near him. He said, sit down beside me. You simply must guide me. So Pat elf said, Patrick, you need to guide me. How to do it? How I don't know anything. I don't know addition. I don't know subtraction. I don't know division. What are these? We never, in elf land, we never did such kind of things. So you need to guide me with whatever you want me to do. Right? So Patrick has to help him. Now, 
when it comes to history again this elf used to shout out louder so every time he says that elves don't know anything about the human history it's a mystery to them mystery means unknown to them they don't know anything about the human history and such whenever he does whether he does english math science sst always he used to ask patrick for help and which was getting louder and louder his shouts were louder and louder again asking for the books asking for some help read he made patrick do everything and told him to read also so look at the seventh paragraph so as a matter of fact every day in every way that little elf was a nag you know who's a nag nag is a person who keeps repeating somebody to do something which he or she doesn't like sometimes even mothers nag no you don't like taking bath or getting up early in the morning or studying uh, daily at regular particular interval of time but your mother keeps telling you again and again do this do this study it take a bath and sometimes she keeps repeating and these are the things which you don't like it so you you may call sometimes that mama you are nagging so understood the meaning of nag so here who is a nag here this elf has become a nag why he has called uh, why he has been called a nag because he is repeating the instructions for patrick to do this or that and patrick as usual never like doing homework but now he has to do it because elf is making him do by asking help now patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag and it has drag here means routine now it has become patrick's routine to work hard day and night he was staying up nights raat ko jaag raha hai had never felt so weary weary here means tired he, patrick has never felt such tiredness but nowadays he was just going to school with puffed and bleary eyes bleary here means <coughs> the dull eyes feeling that when the eyes become like uh, puffed and uh, the vision is like not clear hai na out of lack of sleep jab aap acche se sote na ho no so such was the eyes of patrick now and he was always feeling tired because he was getting up uh, he was staying up nights he was sleeping late why was he sleeping late because he has to complete all the work and in order to help elf finally the last day eighth paragraph finally the last day of the school arrived and the elf was free to go now 35 days are over and elf was now can leave as for homework there was no more because homework is also complete so quietly and slyly slyly means bahut bahut aaram se jaasoosi hote waise sly very quietly slipped out of the back door elf who slipped out of the back door the elf why he slipped out of the back door because now there was no more homework and there was the end of the period of 35 days it was only the condition for 35 days elf has to do his homework now 35 days is over so now elf left left from the back door now ninth see now out of this all patrick got a's now he got a grade in all his homework his classmates were amazed amazed means surprised classmates were really surprised because patrick had never got a his teachers smiled teachers were also happy and were full of praise and everybody was praising patrick right for this change and his parents they wondered what had happened to patrick they were just feeling how this change has occurred they were not even able to understand why because he, they have never seen patrick doing so much of work so he he was now the model kid the model kid means the very good the the as the kids should be you know doing their work getting up on time doing homework regularly and everything cleaning room doing daily tasks core means chores or cores both are the correct pronunciations means daily routine jobs now he used to stay happy also earlier when 
he was not completing his homework he was rude and impolite because uh, he used to get the instructions again and again do this do that and he never liked it so obviously he was not good in behavior as well but now because he got a's he now completes all his job everyone was happy around him with him so he himself has changed his attitude he is now more happy more cheerful he ne- he never was rude and now he has developed a whole new attitude if the question comes what what do you mean by developed a whole new attitude you could say that patrick has changed his habits now he has become more cheerful and always completes his work okay so in the end what do you see you see that patrick still thought he made that tiny man do all his homework so writer says patrick did not understand he thought that elf has done all his homework but actually that the writer tells us but let's i'll share you a secret just between you and me who are you and me here the writer stands you stands for the writer sorry you stand for you all the listener and me stands for the writer writer says it's a secret between you and me what is the secret that it was not elf patrick had done his homework himself so patrick thought that it's a magic some magic happened elf has done some magic to do his homework it was the magic that he got a grades but actually it was not magical it was all patrick's hard work in order to help elf and finally got a's i hope the explanation is clear please reread the pages listen to the explanation try to understand the chapter now let's quickly look at the vocabulary the words i will be sending it spec you need to note down both the concept map and vocabulary in your english notebooks so first word ignoramus ignoramus means an ignorant or stupid person who doesn't know anything grabbed means catch hold of something suddenly and roughly right tiniest means smallest very small and mini breeches it's a kind of short trousers pants which which is an ugly and unpleasant woman which who is normally thought to have some magical powers wrinkled here is uh, an adjective wrinkle means slight folds and like normally on the skin or some cloth fabric grimace cowled pursed his lips as i earlier told these are the words used to show the disgust anger and disapproval where were are these expressions used when the elf showed the expressions right elf he cursed he thought himself to be cursed curse means it's again the word used to express annoyance or a- annoyances anger anger or irritation i told you earlier true to his word this phrase means kept his promise glitch means a sudden problem or a fault squeaked shrieked both have the same meaning made high pitched sound or cry mystery mystery is a word that means something which is difficult to be explained or understand like the things which is unknown to you right nag nag is a person who harass someone constantly that means re- by repeating some instructions to do something one dislike a person who keeps telling you something which you do not like is a nag for you right right weary means extremely tired bleary means looking or feeling dull from tiredness amazed means surprised and chores or chores means daily tasks or jobs so that's let's put an end to today's class the go through the chapter once again try to understand listen to the video again and again and write down the vocabulary and concept map okay for any confusion you may contact bye